So the 10 big ideas for a 2025 report is a policy report. It's really about thinking about what's practical, um, what's uh, possible, how students can really make a difference. I think there was initial brainstorming that was really broad. Um, and then we, I think they were also kind of grouped into themes. So we had inequalities, um, climate change, transport, and then kind of went from there. How can we sort of discuss change in as many different aspects of Scottish society as possible? And so, um, yeah, it's, it's a really sort of broad thinking um, idea about sort of creating a new new image of Scotland. Where, what do we want it to look like? Yeah, so the theme that I was looking at was health inequalities. And I think when I first started researching, it was just a bit overwhelming. And I read something about participatory budgeting and it just seemed like something different. Because um, one thing that struck me when I was researching was obviously what we're doing right now isn't working um, and we need to try something new. Um, also about how it had been trialed some places in Scotland, obviously on quite a local level and people seemed to like it or felt that it was better for them. So I thought it could be something that could be scaled up and widely used. Kind of the idea of a new normal, I think is something obviously that we talked about a lot with the pandemic. Um, and I think another theme that kept coming up in my research was how COVID had exacerbated and also just illustrated health inequalities that were already there. So maybe this being a point where we can stop and reflect and try something new. I think it's really good having that insight at how flexible it act, you know, politics and policy making is and that lots of things sort of join in together and so definitely within some of our different topics there's um, sort of crossover and also you know I might be looking at transport but what I'm actually thinking about is transparency with public sector projects. Now that the policies are written we're moving into the sort of outreach and campaigning phase so that's about, first of all, reaching out to organisations, uh, charities and individuals that have a sort of interest in what we're writing about, directing that sort of specifically based off of each policy. Our goal for the moment with the Scottish elections in May is that getting our voices heard by those people who have power um, and ideally having our policies adopted into party manifestos would be um, what we want to see. But I think it's also just encouraging people like us and other students that they have a voice and also seeing policy making as a way to encourage change.